Hey everybody, Galusier here, bringing you another episode of my Let's Play No Man's Sky. So really quick, just to update the people that watch regularly, I want to show you what I changed, because I added uh, quite a bit. So on my Starship, uh, I installed the efficient, thr efficient thrusters and the teleport receiver. So those are both super useful. And... Oh, it's the solar panel. I was like, what the hell is making that noise? Uh, for the exosuit, uh, I've got... I installed the uh, Class B that we unlocked in the place, so we should have a little bit more ability. I installed the hazmat gauntlet. Uh, I installed the personal refiner. So now we can refine stuff on the move. So all of that was super useful. I forgot to install my advanced mining laser, though. And I used all my wiring thingies. So I need to go back to the space station and buy more of those. But right now, I have a quest to interact with the base computer here. I'll do that really quick. And then I'm going to try to get back onto the Artemis path. Because like I said before, my goal was to complete the Artemis path in today's episode. Class B movement module. Sure. Wow, that's actually pretty good. I mean, obviously, like with the Class A, you get pretty good stats for like all four things. But keep in mind, like, that's 163% to the jetpack tanks. This is 113. That's pretty good. Not to mention the uh, fuel efficiency. Which we didn't get for this one. Or this one. So that's a new stat. We're taking up a lot of available cargo space with technology, though. And that's starting to kind of bother me, if I'm being honest. Really need to start unlocking technology slots and moving this stuff. Construct a storage container. Oh, actually, yeah, that's a good idea. Game, thank you. It's actually a really good idea because... This will enable us to get... Some storage cleared up. So every, if you look down on the bottom right, you'll see that every hour and a half, we can get another quote unquote archive recovery where we'll get the recipe for something, right? So now that I completed that, like we have to wait an hour and a half. That's in game time, so it's like real. All right, so that freed up a bunch of room. So let's switch back to the quest at hand. Um, Artemis quest. Locate a long distance transmitter. Basically, whatever planet you do this quest on becomes the planet it's on. You know what I mean? That's actually stupid close. Okay, I'm just gonna run there. Um,. Yeah, whenever you do the quest, it it literally, basically it spawns it in, more or less, you know what I mean? Look at our, look at our ability to travel now, though. Ugh, so good. You know what I just thought of? In the, like, anomaly or whatever the hell it is? I don't know, the player hub? I just call it the player hub, the place that all the players are in. <laughs> Uh, one of the technologies you can get for the jetpack for increased mobility is a thing that helps to recharge your jetpack when you're, like, in motion. So, like, if you're falling but not using it, you know? Like, so if you, like, uh, for lack of a better term, if you burst fire it like this, you know, on the downward, you're recharging it so it extends your range. Like, for me... Oh, there we are. For me... Um, when I'm leaving my base and jumping off, I wonder if that would make it so that I can travel, like, insanely far. Because there's so much, like, downward. Like, how fast it'll charge. Yeah, so we need to make the signal booster, we need to use it, and then we need to 
fly to other areas and like continue to use it if that makes sense like we have to use it in several places to triangulate our position or whatever the only problem with where my base is is that I only have one way up so if I'm approaching from the wrong side I have to walk around the plateau thing to like get to where I need to be suspicious bolt caster module oh these are the black market modifications this module is flexible and ex exact upgrade statistics are unknown until installation potential upgrades include damage output reload times clip size and firing rate well I'm obviously gonna save that for when I get a better thing because the one that I have now sucks I don't even have a bowl caster <laughs> to upgrade, but that's really awesome to get a black market, technically illegal thing. Is that because it's in a buried cache? Like, it's, like, buried because it's illegal? Like, will this give me one of those? Nope. Got a species record, though. That's cool. When they first made this quest, you had to make the signal booster and leave it. You couldn't pick it back up. So this is uh, much better. Okay, I'm actually... So obviously I need to fly to another planet. But I'm going to teleport to the base station. But this gives us the advanced jump system. It says activate jump systems by rapidly pressing space. It's like, I don't even honestly remember what that does. So we're just going to get it. But golly, we have we have a lot of cargo spaces taken up with technology right now. Like, <laughs> our jumping ability is amazing, but still. He, like, pauses and then jumps up. Well, what is that doing for me? Okay, so I'm going to give a quick shout out to Kyle Culliver because I actually just quickly jumped into a video where he reviewed the boot. So apparently they just pretty recently added it because uh, it was in the 1.6 update or I should say they fixed it. Um, but yeah, I want to... So it looks like, and obviously I'll experiment with the boots a little bit more once we get going, but... Um, it looks like the melee jump that I normally do is still, still technically, uh, a little bit better for distance. However, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, but if, when I'm traversing, uh, the terrain, if I am in a situation where a hill is in front of me, but I have my jump pack charged, I... I wait until I run up to the top of the hill and then do the... What the f... Well, I'm not going to just ignore this. You know? Uh, but yeah, then I do a melee jump because it... If I do a melee jump with the hill in front of me, you're going to melee jump into the hill. And then... Like, what good is that? You know what I mean? But, uh, it seems like with the rocket boots, like, because it gives you that jump in the beginning and it arcs you up, that you could use those to traverse over the hill. Also, at one point when he was testing them, he was kind of heading towards a hill. And he did the melee jump. But then the rocket boots kind of, like, boosted him up almost. And it kind of made it look like they automatically triggered to, like, raise him above the hill so it didn't slow him down. So it might be worth to keep them installed because of that. But anyway, yeah, we were we're supposed to be going over to uh, the Artemis thing, but I'm not gonna... See, look, look, right there. I didn't do that. I was flying towards this and the rocket boots automatically kicked in and they were like, oh, this is in your way and they moved me out of the way. 
I could see that being actually kind of annoying sometimes, but if it, you know, works correctly, um, then, I mean, I do see the benefit to it, so it's cool. Okay, what do you need? Of course you need magnetized ferrite. Why wouldn't you? I'm... See, it did it again. I didn't... See, it's automatically, like, doing that. I'm not doing that. It's interesting. Um, I don't think I have... Yeah, all I have is ferrite dust on me. Oh, my God. Usually, whatever the th cargo pod needs to be, like, repaired, uh, they're all going to need. Son of a gun. Okay, well... Okay, that worked. Good. Boop. Well, obviously, I'm going to go check that out. Uh, I'm going to fly there, though, because I don't feel like coming back up here. And the... Because I landed in a suitable location. Uh, it's free to take off. Like, I'm not using launch fuel to do it, so... <gasps> There's another one of those landed pilots. Okay, we gotta figure this out. What's up with these landed pilots? I've literally never seen that before, and now this is the second time today that I've seen it. Hello. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. This is what's going on with these guys. Some black market shit going on. Mm. All right, well, um, hmm. Let's get a shield. Thank you, sir. I think I'm going to uninstall this, though. If I dismantle it, I get my hydraulic wiring back and 50 tritania. I, and I use the 100, so, like, I get most of it back. I just think it's a waste. I don't think it's useful. But it was one of those things that... I had to learn to, um, I had to learn it to get to something else, like, under it. You know what I mean? I have no idea what that is. I'm going to look into it. Like, in the technology tree, there was, like, another thing below that, I think, if I remember correctly. Okay, let's install this. Just remembered I have this cool thing. All right, let's see what it does. Shield strength, 8%. I don't feel like that's a whole lot. I feel like for that amount, but I guess it's a gamble, right? Like, you don't know because it's a black market thing. Like, you have no idea if it's going to be a legal sonic polarizer. That's pretty funny. I wonder if that has any kind of adverse effects. Like, someone can, like, see that I have an illegal thing, and they're like, oh... That's illegal, sir. You know what I mean? No? Okay. We're going to fly away. Oh my god, this is going to take an hour and a half with my current mining laser. You have to have an advanced mining laser to break these uh, floating crystals. The key is to keep your mining laser almost overheated because you can see that the damage goes up. Okay. Okay. Big deal. Big deal. These are all... I mean, you could sell them, obviously. They're worth a ton of money. But they're also used for, like, really advanced uh, crafting. So I'm going to put every one of those in storage back at home. What the... F <laughs> this thing just came out of nowhere. There's these things, like this, but it requires an artifact. Cultural or biological interest. Submit a new artifact to the vault. To, so they want a fossil sample, a lost artifact, or a biological sample. I gotta remember that, because I think in the past, like, if you found that, like, these things are, you know, valuable. And I would just sell it. 
but this says it'll spit out the equivalent or greater rarity. Okay, I know I'm supposed to be steadfast and focused on finishing the you know, Artemis uh, quest line, but we're really close to these ancient ruins now, and I just... Whoops. Oh, shit. Can you... I literally just bought this, so booyah. Suck it, game. But yeah, I'm not gonna pass up on a little adventure, you know? Honestly, like, if you can't already tell, which I'm sure you have, like, by far my favorite thing to do in this game is, like, just running around. Like, I love, like, on foot, like, running around and looking for shit and just getting into trouble, you know? It's so much fun. Like, that's what this game's all about. The exploration of it. Like, it's just so interesting, you know? Ooh. A hazard protection module. Fuck. Okay, so as soon as I'm gonna open up that slot and then I'll put that there. So I'm not actually gonna do anything with it just yet. Whenever I have to zap big rocks, like, <laughs> that's when I sip my coffee. I've mentioned it, I think, in a video or two in the past, but usually when I'm recording, it's stupid early in the morning. You know, because I got a family. I got a... I have a wife and kids, so, like, I, I don't have a ton of time to make videos or play video games. So a lot of the times, like, when I do that stuff, it's hell early. I usually just do it in the morning when I can, like, not disturb my family so it's like like i actually woke up stupid early today and i think i started recording at like 5 30 in the morning something dumb god there's some interesting stuff going on oh we're actually here <laughs> that's funny um i'm gonna grab that stuff really quick though but then see there's an, there's an abandoned building if i go a little bit farther it's like fuck dude that's the thing, this game will keep throwing stuff at you. Like, you could literally just do what I'm doing now and explore on foot for hours. The only thing that really stops you is your inventory. Eventually, you gotta, like, sell shit or whatever. You gotta make some room, you know? Yeah, 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 I know. I wanna finish this and then use the planetary chart because I'm worried that something will, like, geek out. You know what I mean? Bow, bow, bow. Open sesame. Tarnished jewels. It's not like an ancient fossil or anything like that, so I don't think this would actually qualify. It's also the second time now that I've tried to get something from one of these ancient sites and it ends up being like the least valuable thing ever. But I'm still going to try to turn it in at that other place. But let's do this plot route thing and see what we get out of that real quick. Another ancient rune site detected. How far away is this one? Two hours. Okay. Well, we're not running there. Yeah, it's not. At least not that one. I'm going to double check and make sure the ones like up here require like the same kind of thing I really want to unlock one of these things though like obviously I want to see what it's about or whatever yeah see they all require like the same bummer There we go. See? That's more like it. Super old. Much better, better rarity. Wistful compositions. See, now that, that has some significant value to it. I'll take 778,000. It's a historical document, so I'm assuming that means that, once again, it's not something that I can trade into the thing, but... 
can sell it. That is, like I said, solid. Monet. Yeah, no. I didn't think so. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Oh, I thought I had to go back to the same thing. It's telling me to find a new one. Uh, okay. Well, I'm obviously flying there. <laughs> this whole time I was like, oh, eventually I'm going to have to make my way back to that hollow, hollow deck thing, my goo. The hollow terminus. But it turns out any hollow terminus will do. Copper? <sighs> I don't have any fucking copper, dude. I always turn the copper into not copper. Well, we're gonna have to go get some copper really quick. I forgot that Artemis gives you this translator. I actually don't like that I'm given a translator, because I like that I'm going around and finding all these words. Does that mean that it's going to just, like, translate the whole damn language for me? What's the point, then? Like, I've been talking to so many people and learning words, and that's, like, part of the fun. It's like a collection, when you think about it, you know? The main thing about the Artemis uh, quest line is that you start unlocking different, like, NPCs that are gonna help you with, like, your base and stuff. So, like, that's what it's all about. Like, you wanna, like, get to that point so that you start unlocking the dudes so that you can, like, start really properly building a base. And that's, like, what I'm working on. I wonder if I can... F I wonder if it's specific, like, if I can find just Gek to talk to if it's going to calibrate to the Gek. I think it is. Because I've already learned so much of the Vakeen language, like, I don't want to do, like, this cheap way of unlocking that. I just need to find more Gek to talk to, and I'm going to try to... I'll unlock the Gek language, and then I'll keep unlocking the Vakeen language the authentic way. Well, it looks like it didn't actually, like, translate everything for me, which is nice. Um, so I guess maybe it was, like, just to specifically talk to this guy. Where the hell did he go? Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, he's a conscript. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh. Really? I've actually... Okay. You know what? It probably would have said that regardless, you know? Because I was going to say, I've improved my standing with the Vakeen actually pretty significantly. So, this is probably just another tutorial thing to introduce the mission board concept to us. Because we have yet to do anything with that. Call the anomaly... Oh, hostile scan. We have not dealt with this yet. Ooh, you know what? I I do I I do have some inventory. <laughs> Apparently I'm worth 3.6 million. <laughs> Are they really though? No, there we go. Oh, there's three of them. Hey, that raised my standing with the Vikine. <laughs> How convenient. Okay, so let's see what this gives us. Irregular cryonic ion shield. Oh, it just gives us a very minor resistance to everything. That's awesome, actually, because it doesn't need to be, like, recharged like a cold shield does or, you know, a heat shield or whatever. It just makes us slightly more resistant to literally everything. It's super slightly, though. But, I mean, I'll take it, for, at least for now. I've really 
really need to start out. I need to just start going to various systems just to upgrade my available inventory, honestly, because it's getting ridiculous. So now we can talk to Polo and get directions to a black hole, which will take us hundreds of thousands of light years away. So it's kind of cool because it can take you to a completely different system. You can look into like a lot of different things. So obviously like that's fun and I like that opportunity, but it's not something that I want to do necessarily right now. Um... I think I'm just going to go back to my base because I've been playing for a while now. So I should be able to extract something from the base terminal and then call it a day. It's been a pretty busy day. Obviously not finishing the Artemis quest line. We got pretty distracted though, to be fair. But we did get a lot done though. We actually did progress it a fair amount. And I mean, we've gotten, you know, we got more technology stuff unlocked and other various what have yous so yeah we can do those missions um if we do the missions then that'll progress the artemis storyline it'll give us rewards while we're at it i think honestly though i think before i do anything the next thing i really really want to do is is improve our multi-tool you know because it's not it's not that expensive. Like, we can improve the multi-tool for just uh, 1.5 million and get that really nice one that has, like, a ton of slots. So that'll give us a lot of room for improvement. So kind of feel like that's the next move. It's nice that you can s throw things into the storage container, but if you try to, like do it in a specific way where you're like actually trying to organize it then you can't you have to like put it in your own inventory first because i start color coding these things right so like only yellow stuff will go in here for example <laughs> and then like you can actually change the color of the storage container and like make it yeah uh, like change the color to yellow and i start kind of getting a little bit silly with it but you kind of have to i think we actually got one out of two from that fight that we got into with the space dudes. So we only have to do one mission board thing now. So that's pretty awesome. So that's what we'll do uh, next episode. We're going to jump to the space station, manage our inventory a little bit, and then do the mission board. And by the time we finish the mission board, I'm hoping I have enough money to where I can replace the multi-tool. And then we're going to just start jumping around, honestly. I need to start going to space stations in different systems just so I can expand my inventory. Uh, because it's, yeah, it's becoming a problem. I'm getting way too much technology for what I can actually hold on to. So, thanks everybody for coming out today. Hopefully you had uh, a lot of fun. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell icon. And I'll catch you guys next time.